everybody and welcome i am so glad that you're here today's gonna be a really awesome video because we're gonna share how you can take a simple clothing hanger and convert it into this beauty of an amazing trellis and we're gonna make it as a heart shape because valentine's day is almost here and so i'm so excited so you can actually do this because every single one of us have clothing hangers at home and if you have a metal hanger then super cool because now you have your present for valentine's day to give away if you want to or just to enjoy like i'm doing just to enjoy for myself which is so pretty so i'm using the asparagus friend jerry so this is a you know a climbing vine and so that's ideally what you want to have something that you can climb around so it can get more and more beautiful and it actually can get the shape that you want and so for the asparagus sprint jerry if you have not you don't know about that plant um i do have a video about the asparagus sprint jerry versus the asparagus plumosa because we have both of those plants in here so you can actually check it out i'm going to put it in here in the description on the top as a link and also i'm going to put it in the description down below and in the comment section as i always do for you guys and also i have another video that is really cool that we did also for valentine's day last year and it was really cool about a present that you can do also using hanger but not about plants so i think you're gonna like that as well so i'm gonna put it also a link and also attach it in the description down below in the comment section all you're gonna be needing then is gonna be your clothing hanger this is a metal clothing hanger because we needed to actually give it the shape so a plastic one would not work so what you need to do is at the top you see that they always come with those little twists so at the top, you always had that little twist. So we wanna then untwist that first. Be careful with your hands. So untwist that first. Once you have it untwisted, now you're gonna be getting this long metal. So now every corner that was, you know, bent, you wanna unbend it and make it a complete line. And as always, we have Isabella. In the video, Isabella, get away from there, muchacha. Okay, and then you're gonna take the part that it was where the hanger was just, you put, you know, you hang it, then you're gonna put it all straight again. You wanna end up having a complete line, right? So you have this line. Everything is a line. That's what you wanna have, a complete line. Line, everything in line. You want to keep then at the bottom. So I'm going to take, you need to keep a line. That's going to be where you're going to be sticking it into the pot. So you want to keep then a line that you can actually then use to actually stick it in the pot. So I'm going to put then like a feet, more or less, like 12 inches, like that. So I can actually then, um, you know, stick a little bit higher. The one that I had previously, this was not that high so as you can see it's directly just starting from the pot so maybe like six inches in this case we're gonna make it a little bit higher okay one thing that you can do is just take the pot that you're gonna be using and then put it right next to it so that you can then see how it will look before you actually go into making your heart so i think it looks nice i I think it would be really cool coming out. And then we make a circle. So just bend it and make a circle. You're bending it. And now you're taking then one side on top of it. And now you start twisting it. So twist, twist, twist. Okay. I think it's twist enough. So give it the shape of a circle as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. So as you can see, this is my little circle over there with the long stem. And now in the center over here of the circle, you're gonna just bend it. So here we go. We're gonna fold this over here. Ta-da! and a heart starts for me let's go ahead and start doing our trellis okay now is when we go into the really fun part we're gonna be seeing the results so i have this over here the spring jerry right now is not at its best because it's winter and so the area that i have it is not taking that much sunlight 
Um, we neglected it a few times because of course we have been out and so we were not watering as much, but it's okay, it comes back to life. That's what I love so much about the spring Jerry, so forgiving. So if you are a person that travel a lot or you don't water your plants a lot, this is the plant to have at your home, okay? So for this, um, the recommendation is when you're gonna be handling to actually have then um, gloves, garden gloves so that you can um, cover yourself from harming yourself with some little spines that he has, little tiny spines. But because I handle it so well, I don't have no issue, no allergies to it, I'm just gonna use my hands. But in your case, if you have had any allergies with plants before, or you have never handled the spring jerry, then I recommend to actually use your garden gloves. So we have to detangle it first. Imagine like you have a person that, you know, had a really bad hair day. So that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to detangle everything so that we have it all just as one line. Okay. So now we detangle it. I'm gonna go ahead and take our awesome hanger over here. I'm gonna put it in the center of the pot. So cute, it's so cute, it's so cute. I'm so happy. So one thing that I like to do sometimes is to make like a little hook in the bottom so that it stays in place. I'm gonna do that. There we go. And then Isabella's back hair. Use, as I said, any other plant that is a climbing vine. The potos plant is really good. I have a video about the potos plant, so you can actually check that video if you would like to know more about the potos plant. Um, the ivy, it's really good as well. So if you have like, some of that English ivy, that looks really pretty as well. And so we're gonna just entangle it around and then we're gonna give it more shape by using zip ties. So I'm gonna show you that. Let me just go ahead and start entangling around here. Look how cute it looks right now. And we have not yet finished because I like to then give it a little bit more shape, even though that I already use some of them. I use zip ties, so those things that you, when you buy, you know, sandwiches, you know, it always brings you the bags, it has the zip ties. So I'm gonna use some of them and tie it up in some places to give it more of that shape. And I'm gonna cut and prune a little bit but I'm gonna let it grow as it goes so that it gets more and more big. And of course you can add to this. So if I wanted to have like another heart in the top, we can do that as well. You know, just add another one of the hangers and it's gonna look really, really, really cool. As you can see the one that we made over here, it looks a little bit more wide because we did not use the stem to be so long. We used a stem that was a little bit shorter, like six inches, and that allows you then to use most of the hanger for making the heart. So now you have two different varieties only using one hanger that you can actually make as a heart shape. And again, we have Isabella over here. If you like cats, we have a whole playlist of only cats. We also have our other cat, Kai Cordelia, and she's also around here. So there's a lot of cat videos over there. Anyways, if you wanna make it even bigger, you use then two hangers and you're gonna just mix, uh, you know, tie them up together in that first line that we made before. Once you have that tied up, now the sky is the limit. You can make all kinds of designs. And if you wanna make the infinity circle that we made before, check the video that I mentioned um, about the asparagus spring jerry and you will see Using it. Using then one of the zip ties, um, this because it's really long, I'm gonna cut it then in tiny pieces. 
and I'm going to take some of the pieces and I'm going to use it then in the places that I see it needs it the most to give it some shape and support. Let's go ahead and prune it a little bit. are all done thank you so much for watching this is so easy so fast so quick and so cheap because it's things that you have at home so i love you guys so 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 much may you have an amazing day enjoy the day enjoy the miracles and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to our channel this is a lifestyle channel where we share every tuesday something new from decor home remedies gardening lots of do-it-yourself projects lots of cat videos cozy hiki days health related topics there's a lot of things for everybody so go ahead and subscribe it's totally free and if you're already a member of the community, thank you guys. I love you so much. You're all so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. I love our amazingly kind community. You are all amazing. See you next Tuesday. Bye.